Welcome back to my channel. My name is Destiny and today I am just going to be doing a video on I feel like my tips on just retaining length on your hair. I really just wanted to do this video mainly because I feel like these tips are super helpful and I wish I knew them myself when I was starting my hair journey. I'm wearing a black top so you can't really see my hair but my hair is um just about like right here waist length if you are interested in this video please keep on watching so let's get to it so yeah i feel like my hair has been growing i feel like my hair has been thriving it's been doing really well lately and i've been very consistent with a lot of things and i feel like that has contributed to me retaining retaining length in my hair and the biggest thing is we have to remember is that there's there's a difference between growing your hair and ret retaining length your hair never stops growing and i think most people have heard that a million times your hair never stops growing like literally your um it's always growing from your scalp people want to do is retain length which is grow out their hair long so like i've been natural for about eight years i would say it's mm, i would have to look back but um i've been natural for at least eight nine years at this point and i've learned so much through my hair journey okay so i had to get up and get my notebook because i have like my notebook of notes but basically it's my top seven tips and i was gonna make it only five but i had to add two more on because i was like these also help too but basically my first tip is to do hot oil treatments so hot oil treatments is so important so you don't have to necessarily do them every wash day but oils are so good for our hair oils help to moisturize our ends it helps us to promote growth on our scalps and they're just really good for you so you don't have to do a long like hot oil treatment where you're like just it's it's taking hours and hours and hours the main thing is if you're gonna do a hot oil treatment is to just use maybe one or two good oils and put them in your hair like you can either put them in your hair overnight from the roots to the ends and you want to um, either leave it in overnight or leave it in for a couple of hours or maybe even an hour right before you wash your hair. But putting some kind of oil in your hair really does just help for you to re retain length because retaining length is our goal. So that is really important. So I have some go-to oils. So a go-to oil for me, I have some of my Indian oils and then I have a mixture of oils I use. But usually what I like to do is I'll take, I'll boil some water and then I'll put, the, put my oils in the water um, and just let them sit and get nice and warm. And I'll put them like, from my roots down to my ends and i used to just do this a couple of hours before i wash my hair or an hour before i wash my hair and shampoo it and everything but now i do it overnight because i find that it just gives my hair a lot more time to just get those oils in and um, everything like that so i'll grab some of the oils i usually use okay so i went and grabbed some of my oils so some main oils you can really use any oils but these are the oils that I would say um, have helped me a lot. So bronze hair oil. So this one, I got this one specifically because it also has amla oil in it and brahmi and neem oil. So the Indian oils are super great for hair growth. And it does say on here that put it on your hair from your scalp to your roots, from, from, your, um, from your roots to your ends, sorry. And um, it does say to leave in from two to three hours to overnight. So I started leaving these oils in overnight and it's made such a huge difference in my hair. And I like to actually do a mixture of this oil and the rosemary oil right here. So the rosemary oil, now do not use this 
alone. Anything that says essential oil, you do not want to use alone. You want to add it to other oils. Um, but the rosemary oil is literally, um, rosemary is super, super great at growing your hair. So, and you can even mix it in with another oil that I love is the grapeseed oil. I love this oil. It's super moisturizing and makes my hair super shiny. So I like to um, just usually mix them all in and put it in this container right here. So this is just my mixture of oils. So all these oils are super awesome for just growing your hair. And like I said, you can use olive oil, you can use Jamaican black castor oil. I just ran out of Jamaican black castor oil, but castor oil is super good for growing your hair also. But yeah, hot oil treatments either overnight and you can just put like either a bonnet on or um, tie your hair up. You know something like that but don't, just don't put a plastic cap on because like i said it's gonna it's gonna be too much moisture in your hair but yeah just putting those hair oils in overnight and then uh, washing it out in the morning your hair will be so shiny and so moisturized like it's so good so that leads me to my next tip which is another way to grow your hair is rosemary water slash rosemary oil so rosemary has been a game changer for my hair since i started using rosemary water and oil it's helped my hair tremendously so i don't know what's really in rosemary to make it grow your hair like that but like um like i said i use i mix this specific essential oil with my um my aloe vera oil or my argan oil. I mix this in with that one and I put it on my scalp throughout the week. That definitely helps to grow my hair. Um, and also, usually every time I wash my hair, I do use rosemary water. I don't have with me right now, I need to make a new batch, but the rosemary water has been a game changer for my hair. I use it every time I wash my hair. And I have a dedicated short video showing how I make my rosemary water. So I'll leave the link somewhere up here so that you can watch that. But yeah, so it's super great at growing your hair. And you can either use the dry rosemary or you can use the, the fresh rosemary, it doesn't matter, but just boil it and you know spray it on your hair. Um, you can just spray it on your hair before you wash your hair or you can do it after and you can actually spray it on as a leave-in also just make sure to spray it mainly on your roots you don't want to spray it on your ends because it could dry out your ends so i would um you can spray it on your ends sometimes but don't spray it on your ends like all the time because it's going to dry out your hair so but yeah that is my second tip um, about the rosemary which i feel like has hugely hugely help me retain length i feel like that's one of my hair growth secrets is like that rosemary so being consistent of course helps too but yeah the rosemary and consistency is what has helped me retain length okay and my next tip is this is number three i think so yeah so this is number three so my next tip is to oil your ends as much as possible now you don't want to weigh down your hair especially if you're wearing your hair bone straight like me um i like to use a serum on my hair when i'm just want to moisturize my ends like every night or every um either every night or like a couple times a week um, you just want to make sure that you are moisturizing your ends, whether it's straight or curly. It's easier, obviously, to moisturize your ends if your hair is curly. It's either way, you want to make sure you moisturize your ends. Now, you can probably use a heavier oil if your hair is curly, but if your hair is straight like mine, like I like to wear my hair straight, you'll want to use like a serum like the Chi Silk Infusion is great to just moisturize your hair a, a little bit. And I also have another um, oil that I like to use called the Verb Weightless Oil. So anything that says kind of weightless 
or if it's a serum or anything like that, those are super great at just um, moisturizing your ends and just, just a little bit. You only need a tiny bit. I just spray a tiny, tiny little squirt. And yeah, it's just kind of helps to moisturize my ends. And this, this gets overall doing this just helps with breakage. Cause you want to like stop breakage. You want to stop your hair from breaking off. So that just kind of helps you also to keep your hair moisturized, which helps you to retain length. All right, so, and my next tip is like, after you're, you put all these oils in your hair, your hair is kind of oily and all the other stuff. Um, each time you wash your hair, which I like to wash my hair every two weeks, but if you wash your hair weekly, if you wash your hair every month, however you do it, if you are gonna wash your hair, make sure you are clarifying your hair. That is also a big thing for me. Early on in my hair journey, I was not clarifying my hair at all. I was just mainly using moisturizing shampoos. I wasn't realizing I wasn't clarifying my hair at all. So I wasn't getting rid of all the buildup on my scalp, which clogging your hair and not moisturizing it can lead to it um, just having all these products you're putting in your hair, if you are putting a lot of products in your hair. Now, granted, if you're not putting a lot of stuff in your hair, you may not need to worry about it as much. But over time, your hair needs to be clarified at least once a month. Your hair needs to be clarified. So there's so many clarifying shampoos. Um, and um, I really, I like to shampoo my hair three times. I like to go in with the first a normal shampoo, which is just like a first shampoo. And then I'll go in with a clarifying shampoo that I know is more on the drying side, but it's gonna clean my hair. And then I go in with a moisturizing shampoo, which brings back that moisture and kind of balances out my hair. So I have a few right here, um, just grabbed randomly, but First I'll go in, I pretty much have used this shampoo up, but this is just the normal shampoo. Like this one's not super clarifying. It's not super moisturizing. It's just kind of in between. So this is the way thick hair shampoo. I've almost used this up. So this is a good first step. And I also like to um, alternate between this one and a detox shampoo, which that one is more clarifying so i don't use that one as much but yeah i go in with the thick hair shampoo which i didn't know why i didn't choose the fine hair shampoo because i don't have thick hair i don't know but either way so i go in with this one first and then i'll go in with a clarifying shampoo which i'll alternate between this one and um i have another one i use to clarify i can't remember but you'll know it's clarifying because it will say it is sulfonate will be the first couple of ingredients but this is the bread clear wash shampoo and is it makes it very clear this is clarifying and this stuff it's really, really good. I really, I'm so, so about a conditioner about this one, but I do really, really like the shampoo. It clarifies your hair, it gets it clean. It does its job, like it does its job. So yeah, and what we wanna do for the most part is clarify our hair, make sure we are getting rid of all that buildup so we are starting on a clean, healthy slate when it is time to style our hair, when it's time to do everything else to our hair. So yeah, I really like this one. And then I'll go in last with a moisturizing shampoo. I had to grab another one cause the other one I grabbed was more clarifying. So this is the, this is a expensive shampoo. So you do not have to buy this one. Another good moisturizing shampoo that I like to buy is the, the Shea Moisture. The Shea Moisture shampoo is a great, moisturizing shampoo. So I would suggest that one, but this is the one I have right here, which is the Brigio Superfood. Um, it's the Matcha and Apple Replenishing Shampoo. This stuff is very watery, as you can see, like it moves super quickly. It smells so good and this has more natural ingredients. So that's why it's so expensive, but I got it on sale and I'm really a fan of the shampoo and conditioner, but yeah, you just want to make sure that, again, 
cleaning your hair, you're clarifying your scalp, you're getting all of that gunk out of your hair so that you have a clean slate so that your hair can thrive. So, all right, so on to tip number five. <laughs> so tip number five is to deep condition your hair every time you wash your hair. So after you're done clarifying your hair, you can follow up with a conditioner. I do um, follow a conditioner every so often. You don't really have to though. It's just really adding a step. You don't really need both. But um, if you have conditioner and and you have um, a deconditioner, you don't have to use both. You can alternate it, especially if you wash your hair more than once a week, you can use a conditioner midweek. But if you wanna use them both in the same wash day like me, which like I said, I wash my hair every two weeks. So I do shampoo three times, follow up with a conditioner and then decondition, but you don't have to do both. You can, you can alternate. The main thing is you want to do a Mostly moist moisturizing conditioners are the best. There's plenty of nice moisturizing conditioners. The best ones are Shea Moisture. Shea Moisture has the best deep conditioner. This like deep conditioner right here, I just got this one. It's the Amica Soul Food deep conditioner. It's so good. Like it's so moisturizing. Like my hair felt like butter. This stuff is so good. A little pricey because I think this one is $30, but it's so good, really good. But like I said, Shea Moisture is a great other option. And then another option is, this one is a more affordable option, is the Mayel Strengthening Hair Mask. Now this one is on the strengthening side, so you probably don't want to use this one every wash day. Maybe once a month or whenever your hair needs it but this is a good, I would say, strengthening deconditioner. So yeah, this, this one is highly suggested. So yeah, just deconditioning your hair, you will find that it, your hair is retaining better moisture and your hair is being strengthened. And you're just, you're just giving your hair all that TLC, all that love, because you want to really baby your hair. You want to treat your hair like it's like so precious like a newborn baby that's how you want to treat your hair so i would just say like just baby your ends baby your hair and it's it's going to show after a while like if you give that time just a little bit more as your time into your hair like you do anything else you love in your life then it's going to it's going to show and it's going to show in your hair how healthy it is and how happy it is that you gave it that love so okay so tip number six is to make sure that you are gently gentle with your hair and like i was saying before treat your hair like a newborn baby treat your hair like very gentle like something you love and cherish gently detangle your hair detangling is so so important I had to learn this the hard way too, because I used to have a, a brush and I used to be like, put, like brushing my hair. And even if I started from the roots, just brushing through and brushing through and being rough with it. You always want to start from your ends and work your way up. And um, it's great if you use a white tooth cone. If you're keeping your hair moisturized, then, um, you know, using a wide tooth cone and then going in with a brush helps a lot. I like to go in and kind of use a, throughout the week, I like to use a wide tooth cone and then just mainly use a brush at the top. With your hair, like you don't want to rip your hair out while you're while you're washing your hair. You don't want to rip your hair out just throughout the week if your hair gets tangled. Like you have to be gentle with it. My best suggestion is like throughout the week, I like to use a wide tooth comb um, for my straight hair. Cause I used to use a brush all the time and I just felt like that was just so rough just using a brush every single day. So for my ends, I like to stick with a wide tooth comb. And for my, um, during wash day, I will brush my hair with a tangle teaser when I'm doing my hot oil treatment. I do not brush my hair doing, during the shampoo process at all. I use my fingers and just go through my hair 
And then even when I'm putting my deep conditioner in or my conditioner, I'm using my fingers. When it's time to actually detangle my hair, I'm using a tangle teaser foot and I'm starting from the ends and working my way up. So finger detangling starting is the best idea usually and then going in with a brush after. But yeah, I do feel like, and this is just my personal opinion, the best way to retain lean throughout the week is just using a wide tooth comb. If you have curly hair, you don't really need to wash your hair throughout the week for the most part. Um, but if you are refreshing your hair, try to use a wide tooth comb or use your fingers. And that is the best advice I could probably give for that, for the curly girls. Cause like I said, I do wear my hair curly too. Not as much now, but I do wear my hair curly too. And when I do wear my hair curly, for the most part, I just try not brush it out, so. Okay, and so my last tip, tip that I would say is also really important. And these, all these tips just come all together. And that is, protecting your hair at night. So protecting your hair at night, which also means like you don't necessarily have to wear a bonnet. I like to wear a bonnet, that's just me personally. That's what I do is I'm a bonnet wearer at night cause I tried to do, and another option is a satin pillowcase, but I tried to do the satin pillowcase but what happened was like, I have very oily skin. So the satin pillowcase and my skin were not getting along. So <laughs> I had to stop doing that, even though I love the satin pillowcases and they're so cute. Protecting your hair at night is get satin bonnet, satin pillowcase, satin sheets, which yeah, that could work too. But Either way, just making sure you're not causing a whole fun bunch of friction to your hair at night. Oh, and satin scrunchies are also great too. So you can just like at night, put your hair in a pineapple or tie your hair up in a bun at night and just have like it in a loose bun. And yeah, just take it out in the morning. That's another option to just protect your hair. So whatever you do, just kind of keeping your hair kind of together protected and loved and all these tips honestly have really really helped me retain lean and i really just wanted to make a video about this because i feel like i ha i kind of have fully kind of found the things that work for me and my hair my hair would not be as long as it is without these without these continuing, without me continuing all these steps. These are things I do on a daily basis. So I'm not telling you anything that I do not do. These are all things that I literally do on a regular basis with my hair, which is protecting it, moisturizing my ends, deconditioning, clarifying my hair, and um, using the rosemary water slash oil. I do all those things and it has grown my hair. And it'll also help you grow your hair if you follow those tips too. All right, so that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you clicked on this video, especially you made it to the end of this video, please like, comment, and subscribe and share if you care. I do appreciate it. I just wanna do this super quick video just to give out some tips and I hope these help you. So other than that, I hope to see you all in my next video and I hope you all have a blessed day. Have a great week. Bye.